Hi, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out how does the person on your mind feel about you right now. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 14th of May, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 5.10... Wait a minute. 5.01 p.m. <laughs> Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. If you were to find the guided to watch this video this message is meant for you even even if you're dealing with the same sign all right now let's get your reading started spirits and angels please to show me for gemini libra and aquarius the person on their mind right now how do they feel about them please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and this person Eight of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. My nose is still a little bit stuffy, so uh, if I breathe hard, it's because of my nose. Anyway, we've got the Fool and then the Page of Swords. So they're very careful, or that they feel you are very careful or very suspicious of them, um, especially when they're having a good time or when they're out in a certain kind of environment. See, look at the fool. It feels like that. Or you could go vice versa, them feeling suspicious of you whenever you are out and about doing your own thing or in a different environment. Ace of Pentacles here is, uh, is in up first. They feel unhappy right now or, ha or have doubts. Yeah, because... Um, I wouldn't say it's unhappy, unhappy, because there's a moon here, and then we've got the sun in first, and the ace of pentacles in first, kind of get a delay, so it, it feels like this, this they, it's like, I don't want to get too happy, yeah, I don't want to get too happy uh, right now, because I'm still uncertain about how things are going to work out between two of us, how things are going to pan out between two of us. So either they feel very suspicious of you or that they feel you're always very suspicious of them. If you're the one who is always sus very suspicious of them, they don't like it, right? The sun and mothers, they don't like it. They feel like that could delay them uh, wanting more with you or taking the connection to the next level. So four swords here is in reverse. They feel like you're constantly thinking too much. Uh, it's, it's a very restless energy, right? Uh, thinking way too much or worrying way too much um, or it could be them worrying way too much about you see i feel like this could go vice versa yeah it's either you or them but there's someone here who is very suspicious of everything and it's making the other person very unhappy feeling making that person feeling very uncomfortable okay we've got the ten of cups here in reverse seven of swords and then we've got the queen of wands mm. they feel suspicious that you have someone else or that they feel you're constantly suspicious that there is a third party right seven of swords there is no trust there here i mean there's no trust here and ten of cups here is in reverse They feel like you don't trust them or that they don't trust you, that there, there could be a future for the both of you, okay? Or that they are still unsure with the moon here, whether there could be a future for the both of you. And seven of swords just like looking out for themselves to make sure they are covered, to make sure that, you know, they, they don't get burned by you if they suspect you um, keeping any secrets unless it's them feeling like, the other way around like you're constantly just really suspicious of them hmm like as though there is a third party involved in this connection if there is a third party involved in this situation they feel like you you know they don't feel good or happy about you going to the third party to see the third party party unless it's vice versa that they feel like you're not happy when, whenever they go see the third party, okay? If you are you know for sure you're in a third party situation. So you've got the five of cups here. They feel really sad, disappointed, or that they feel like you're constantly uh, 
dwelling on something that is negative about them could also be them constantly dwelling on something negative in regards to this connection there is a lot of pessimism here uh, that's what I'm seeing but despite all of that nine of wands this person is passionate about you but they feel like they need to make a decision the lovers in lovers uh, the decision is going to be based on some sort of communication that perhaps they could be feeling like both of you need to have that conversation to see eight of pentacles and lovers if this connection is workable if they could put their heart on the line or they could be feeling like you want to talk to them because you're putting your heart on the line that you may be sad about something right now five of cups five of cups are feeling very disappointed about something about them we've got the nine of uh, sorry eight of swords in my verse again hmm. they feel very vulnerable um they also feel like they don't like it that's what i'm sensing they're not happy they don't like it whenever you don't trust them or again it could go vice versa they feel like you don't like the, you don't like it every time if they were to show any suspicion towards you mm, eight of wands they feel like you're suspicious whenever they are moving about again in a different environment because eight of wands can indicate some sort of a movement like as if they're going to have an affair with someone, the lovers in love first, or that they're suspicious of you, going to have an affair with someone. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's pull out more of these oracles. I'm going to keep my opinion to myself, but, you know, use your best judgment. I'm just going to read the cards right now. So it says we need to let each other go. It could be this person feeling as though if you don't trust them again, if you don't, if you continue not to trust them, they may have to let you go, or that they feel that you might let them go if they continue to not trust you. Okay, and some of you maybe both of you could be separated because ten of cups in lover is can indicate a separation or trouble, trouble in paradise. They may feel as though that. Maybe this is moving towards an ending because there are trust issues here. But also the fool can indicate someone who wants their freedom, whether it's you or this person. I wish I had treated you better. Either they feel this way about you or they feel that, that you feel this way about them. It could be someone, you know, some of you, seven of swords. Maybe this person has lied or cheated on you and they wish they never did that. Or if they put you in a third party situation, they wish they never had to, right? Unless it's, it's you, you're the one, it could go vice versa. I want to be more than friends. I don't react when people mention you. So many things remind me of you. I want you, okay? So this person does want you, obviously, within Night of Wands here, they do want you. And they do reminisce about you. And... I see them trying to keep cool, even though they could be seemingly frustrated. That's what I'm seeing here. I want to be more than friends. It may not always mean want to be more than friends, or it could be wanting more than a situationship, or more than, you know, being a third party. It could be you or this person. Pull out a few of these romance angels. Attraction, yeah, no doubt. <laughs> so many cards that indicate that this person is attracted to you, to you, and then engagement. This person may feel mm, children. Let's let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, see, it is safe for you to love. So they could be feeling as though they need to see if it is safe with for them to love you, or that you know, again, trust issues. I don't only see that, right? Religious factors. Maybe there's someone you have different background. Like both of you have different backgrounds or different religion, age gap, it could be any of these things or long distance connection uh, that could be coming in between two of you or that maybe someone is married, okay, a separation. So some of you, both of you could be separated or there could be consideration in regards of separation because someone here with the Ten of Cups, your mother is wondering 
hey, can I actually be happy with this person? Will there be a happily ever after? Children, someone may have acted childishly, but children could come into play as well, as in this could be one of the main reasons why there could be some issues in this connection. That's just for some of you. Give your relationship a chance. This person may be feeling like wanting a second chance, if there could be a second chance. If both of you separated, finances and career and engagement. Maybe this person is engaged to someone else or married to someone else because it's tied to money. It feels like this this part is only for some of you. If you do know that a person has somebody else. Some of you, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, if you are engaged to someone else or in a very serious relationship, this person may feel like, hey, I actually want a second chance with you because you could be already connected with someone else. This is just for some of you, yeah? I definitely see random messages here and there. Just take what resonates with you. Um, anyway, hope to see you back here again sooner than later. And don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe if you resonated in some way, shape, or form with this reading. Um, and I'm open for personal readings. If you like the book, me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to also subscribe to my other channel. It's my travel channel. I'm going to leave the link on the screen or in the description box below. Take care. Hope to see you back here again uh, soon. Bye.